Scientists have been telling us for years that there is so much energy locked up in each atom, in each atom of water that went to make up this snow, that if only humanity could figure out how to unlock that energy, it could power every energy need civilization ever had or could ever have. Well, at this conference on energy at the Aspen Institute, we ran into one scientist who may have done something like that. Daniel Nocera of MIT. I have a really simple equation for life. Sunlight plus water equals all the usable energy you need in this planet. I could replace all of our energy someday with just that, those two components. So how do you do that? How do you turn sunlight into, uh, you're talking about splitting water. Uh, water has hydrogen and oxygen in H2O. it. H2O. H2O. Mm -hmm. And when you split it, you get two H2s and one O2. And that's a chemical fuel. And it's a really potent chemical fuel. And when you burn it with oxygen, it's combustible and you can get a lot of energy out of that. How do you do it? A lot of people did it when they were in high school. They may have seen their teacher take two platinum electrodes. If you didn't know it was platinum, that's what he or she was using. And then they turned on an electrical current and you saw bubbles and bubbles. And one set of bubbles was hydrogen and the other set was oxygen. And so we know how to do that. The little bugaboo with the high school experiment is they were using platinum and that is really expensive and it's not that efficient. So one thing we did recently is we figured out a catalyst that's a new material that could take the current from a photovoltaic and do what you saw in high school really cheaply in a highly manufacturable way under very benign conditions, just an open glass of water. And this catalyst, what does it look like? It actually makes a thin film. Um, it's a, li a lot like this glass behind me, and then if it, the glass is conducting, when you put current on the glass from solution, we have a metal and a phosphate, and it forms a little thin film and then it just starts churning away, splitting the water to hydrogen and oxygen. But my one little discovery took something that used to be really expensive, and now you can see a really inexpensive path. All you need is five liters of water, which is a little over a gallon of water. If I take a little bit over a gallon of water to hydrogen and oxygen, you're good for the day. You've stored enough energy and fuel. Sunlight, a little over a gallon of water, some hardware, and we're good to go. I don't think about becoming rich. All I say is I've open sourced this. Wait, so wait a minute. Well, excuse me. You mean you made this great discovery and you've already told people how it works? Yes. You that's give, I, you I give, published it. You published it? No, MIT's not totally. I'm, it's, this is MIT, so they're really good in, in, in commercializing stuff. They got the patents on that. But as soon as I got it, so this is one thing I talked to my students about. If I wanted to be rich and famous, I would have just zipped it. And people are doing stuff with my discovery that I would talk about, and it's, it's only been six months and they're already doing it. Does that make you happy? Oh my God, look, I, got, I have goosebumps right now. I, I love watching it because it's just like, that's how science works, is it? we all sit there just pushing the little buttons in each other's heads and then it, and then it's that whole, that sum is much greater, that, that whole, yeah, yeah, that whole is greater than any individual in this picture.